first of all, any friends in Boston you want to say hi to? Oh, yeah, actually, um, I do have friends. Tom and Colleen, hi, good to see you. <laughs> you should tell people you spent one semester. One semester at the Boston Conservatory of Music. Yeah. yeah. Did you enjoy Boston? I loved Boston. Did I was you? at the Pru every other day, you yeah. know. And yeah, I really, really had fun. Oh, Bostonians it. will love you for that. <laughs> you know, some say the third time is a charm, and it sounds like Baby Talk has really got itself together now that you're a part of it, and there's a new production team. Yeah. Are you happy with the folks that are going to be involved in the series? Uh, I'm really fortunate. The, the new producers on the show, Saul and Bernie, Saul Turtletaub and Bernie Ornstein, are, uh, are just two of the nicest people I've ever met in this business, and they're very talented. I've, this, the script that they handed me, that they wrote, I was just thrilled. Because we all know we've read you know, Connie Selleck and Julia Duffy. Mm -hmm. They left, and, and now you're here. So I think you should assure the audience that there's, this will be a different show. Well, yeah, show. it is a different show. And, uh, you know, obviously this question has come up a lot because people are curious. What, the, the show's gone through so many changes. And generally you would say, well, gee, why, why you know, why not just scrap it and start over? Yeah. But it's a good, it's a good premise. It's the, it has the potential to be a very good show. And I think once they, once they figure out the combination of people that can make it work, why not go for it, you know? And now that they've signed Scott Baio, I mean, it sounds mm -hmm. like you two could have a real fun time working together. I think we'll have a great time working together. I'm it's such a good it. premise. I was a single mother for nine years, and I think mm -hmm. it's such a hard road to hoe. And, and that's exactly the role you'll be playing. Mm -hmm. And it isn't easy. And I'm, ho I'm hoping those things will come out. Yeah. And I think that our, our position on it will be to find the humor in it and to, and to be able to laugh through the, through the tears, quote unquote. I mean, there is, a, there is a lot about being a single mother that is difficult. But uh, to be able to look at it from the perspective of how, of how kind of crazy and and whirlwind it can be as well it will be the challenge. So have you ever worked with an 18 month old before? <laughs> no, I can't say that I have, but I I think, you know, I'm I'm pretty easy going on the set. I don't uh, ad libbing and doing all that I'm real easy with and um, whatever they do, if they if they come up with something great, I'll go with it, you know? <laughs> it sounds like it's great. But on the other side, on the personal side of life, that is a gorgeous ring you're wearing on oh, your left hand. Thank you. <laughs> um, you're not going to be single for long, I take no, it, huh? No. No. You want to tell us about him? Well, uh, he's an actor. His name's Thomasine Griffith, and uh, we're very happy. Isn't that nice? And yeah. you've known each other a long time, haven't mm -hmm. you? Been together for a while. Yeah. What is that? I must. That must provide a real stability in what we all know is kind of a crazy business. Well, having a personal life at all in this business, I think. Um, is difficult at best, and and having a happy personal life is just uh, is, is is a is a dream, you know. And that's uh, I'm very lucky. That's great. You played um, you played a woman who died in childbirth in <laughs> Those She Left Behind, and then when you did duet on Fox, mm -hmm. some critics said you were such a wonderful, sweet character. Why make you the alcoholic? But I think there was a good message there, wasn't there? You know, it's funny because it's been rerunning now on cable, and um, I saw one of the episodes that involved the alcoholism, and I, and I thought, you know, it was really brave of them to, to do this, and I'm happy they did. Um, it was, uh, it was there, there's a there's a point in comedy where you where you can't where you can't just not ha get to know the person. You have to be. You have to get to know the character, and if the character has flaws and problems, explore that and find, again, it's like find the, not the comedy in being an alcoholic, but find the side of it that you can, you know, release about mm -hmm. and kind of laugh at and stand, step back from and get some perspective, and that's what's nice about that. Yeah, and also the fact that everyone, anyone is susceptible to alcoholism, it really did point that out, that anyone can get that disease. Yeah, I suppose it was... Uh, I suppose it was a way of saying that it's not just um, it's not just people that live in the streets. It's, yeah. it's anybody. Are you really a cook? Um, I I wonder if Thomas would think so. <laughs> I I like to think of myself as one. Is that for me? That's my centering. I just love getting in the kitchen. I'm, I am so happy in the kitchen. Yeah. I really love um, conjuring. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. When you come to Boston next time, we'll share cookbooks. Good. All right. I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. I really do. Thank Have you. a great season. Thank and you. And I hope I see you again. Yeah, me too. Thanks.